Thank you. Also, leave me here, unprotected. It's well, I mean, she's not she doesn't have any problem. Unprotected. It's fine. Master Chief takes a vacation to a tropical rainforest. The level. That's the level. Nothing else happens in this level. That's the level. It's just a nice, refreshing break. The last transmission from the captain's dropship was what did you get down there? It's just a spot. Captain Keys is fucking reclining on one of those fucking chairs. His fucking cucumber slices over his eyes. Man, he's fine. He's just fine. Trust me, it's okay. No, not a single one. <laughs> Fuck. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. There will be a reckoning. Why is that taking so much to kill them? Eh. That's weird. Eh. You know what else is weird? Face! Fuck! Oh my gosh, I wonder what's over there. What's that? Mysterious figure retreating into the distance. Could it be a Sasquatch? by floating assault rifles. My god. Come on, let's get in there and reinforce the marines. Yes. I think that surely happened. Ah. Looks like we just missed him. I wish this glass wasn't here. There's a big hole in the elevator. Man. I wish this was brighter, but like specifically. For How come you've got baked in peak shadow on your thing? You don't. Your helmet's peaks are yeah, so I much smaller. Yeah, I pointed that out. Fucking. You know. You stole my fucking visor detail. <laughs> They're mine now. Have my them. peaks. You stole my peaks. I love Twin Peaks. Have you seen even a single episode of Twin Peaks? I love Twin Peaks. <laughs> Ten tweaks. That just sounds like you're tweaking someone's nipples. Um, Fucking sure. I deserve him. God damn it, I didn't mean to throw that. Oh, shit. We have yet to run into the red needler. A lot more Covenant in here yeah. than you would expect for a place that's supposed to be contaminated. They don't understand the social distance. Right. So like that video where it's the fucking man. Well. I still like the video where it's the fucking recording of Captain Keys opening the fucking door of all the marines because they open it, it's just a hunter. Great. It just fucking kills them. Captain Key. Looks like the Covenant worked pretty hard to bust it down. Man. Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one Ow. Hey. Stop that. Stop doing me. that. Okay. That's what I did. Play dead. They took the live ones. Oh god, I can still hear them. Man. I feel like playing dead would feel the blood. Especially they're not smart right now. They're trying to take ones that have intact central nervous systems. Well, yeah, but 
the flood do still take corpses, so wouldn't playing dead if your body's still intact not do anything other than just be to make you defenseless? Not necessarily. I feel like that's not a great idea. For a bear, maybe. The flood... Eh. It works when the flood don't have a grave mind controlling them. Because they're not smart when they don't have a fucking grave mind controlling them. Well, yeah, but they still go for corpses when they don't have a grave mind controlling them. That's Only, like, like, ones that appear to be, like, fully intact. Well, yeah, but he's fully intact. Yeah, well... I don't think that... It might be that he hid underneath something. Maybe? I wouldn't... I don't know. I think the best solution to dealing with the flood is just to get the fuck out of there. How did we develop a hand portable tool that can open 400 doors? Maybe it cuts the electricity allowing it to open. I guess. Probably also works on covenant doors. Like, I guess it EMP is mostly automatically open. Like the FNAF door. So this guy's definitely okay, right? 100%? Scrunch. That's the wrong guy from the cutscene. It's fine. Jenkins survived 30 fucking years of the co Human Covenant War to die here. To be fair, lots of people died here. He was here during First Contact. Yeah, but you know... Eh. I feel like dying to the Flood isn't necessarily particularly embarrassing. He didn't actually die though, because he like got partially infected. Yeah, well, yeah. then he blew up. It wasn't stars. great for that either. Watch he blew up. Mouth, it happened. It blew up. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, ah, typo. Does the governor want to wipe yeah. out this particular part of my history? That's fine by me. Why is the yeah, I capitalized in the middle of wipe? You ask yeah. Me real nice next time you see him descending. I'm sure they'll be happy to Weird. apply. How did Johnson get out of this? Yes, it's in the book, but like, how There's did he get a comic out? book. Fucking... He had an energy sword that go, he picked go, up go. off one of the dead fucking spec ops. Yeah. It'll take, take more than a pack of walking alien horror show freaks to tar take down Sergeant A.J. Johnson. Man. I don't know what the J in the middle of his name stands for. Johnson. Avery Johnson Johnson. That's his name. His <laughs> nickname? Johnson. Don't wear it out. Avery Johnson Johnson Johnson. Wait, Don't wear it out. You're wearing it out. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Sir. <laughs> you can't do that okay, to him, Morgan. Okay, let's move! <laughs> you gotta play Which the cutscene. weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the Sticks inside. his entire foot in its chest. Yeah. Plasma scoring? Fucking puppeting yeah. its mouth. I don't know. Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Why are you like here, Captain? Bad ass elite, you yeah, this is All why are your sleeves rolled up, Captain? Real pretty. <laughs> Wear a helmet for fuck's sake. Why are you here? No, just met. The best ending to this game would have been getting Captain Keys and Johnson out alive, then you, all three of you, do the Warthog run at the right. end of the well, game and get out the door long sword. Jo I'll fucking Keys to, will drive. But it looks like yep. he's coming up pretty hard to lock <laughs> it down. a good driver. Just I'm the captain. Sir. Yep. Y yes, yes sir. sir, I know. Fuck it. <laughs> Master Chief sits in the second seat, Johnson on the gun. Hit dark. It's not that dark. You're not that dark. I got a bad feeling I pride myself about on this. this. Man, fucking. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about this. Super something. fucking saturated. Actively glowing. Tonight? That man sitting at the bar. <laughs> yep, that's me, the whitest man alive. He was molten. White. Why do you think they Corporal, came up with the term white hot? Over. 
Mendoza, get your ass back up to second. What if the flood didn't show up and everything was just normal and just kind of with a weird chest? I don't chest have time for your lips, right? soldier. That's just I give you an order. Like, eh, weird. Listen. They just do that sometimes. <laughs> just like John F. Kennedy. Where's that coming from, Mendoza? I don't. He just did there. that. Mira. <laughs> Hold still! Hold still! Let him have it! Let him have him. No. Maybe if you shot at them, Captain, and not the wall. They got Jenkins. We could have gotten him out of there. If we just we arrived like a few minutes earlier, Chief could just pull him out of the proto mine, he'd have been fine. I'm getting you out of here. Please. <laughs> yeah. We could have. Okay, in Halo 3, we could have just slung fucking Johnson over our shoulder and. Oh, this is very red. Bad to see you, Master Chief. Things are looking swell. Okay, I'll go back to my fucking cryo tube. <laughs> Bad to see you. Hey man, thanks, asshole. Alright, let's fucking do this shit. Yeah, why? Man, the hyper-realistic blood-red forerunner lighting. In the original cut of Halo 1, there was supposed to be a room in which you encounter some marines, and they're being chased by the flood into a room, uh, and they fucking get, go in, and the door closes behind them, and then a few seconds later, some combat forms come out. Yeah, that would've been fucked. But what? You think you you think they overdid it with the red here? There's like creepy pasta fucking red. I mean it's the red lights. It's very red in here. You're lots very of, red. Lots of blood on the ground. Yeah, you know, this reminds me, someone wrote a fucking story that's supposed to be like a Halo creepy pasta where it's an alternate route the game goes on. Where the Master Chief gets infected by the Flood because when he shows up in the fucking level uh, keys or whatever, the Proto Mind isn't there, so the Flood Man. take him. And it ends with Cortana having to teleport Johnson to the fucking Halo control room where he fires the ring. Uh, the Master Chief almost gets infected by the Flood in the fucking library. Yeah. One of the Flood tendrils pops through his fucking, uh, the neck seal between his helmet and his armor and nearly fucking kills him, but the Cortana kills it by overloading his shield. The Cortana. Yes. Technically, that is correct. She is an object. Wow. She's wow. a literal physical object you can put in a computer. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. I am functionally correct. So all artificial constructs are just objects to you. Unbelievable. They are physical objects. Unreal. Yeah. I don't believe what they just Men are dead. Hey, guilty hey, why are there sentinels being dispatched in this fucking facility? Why did they not have these? Did, were they literally just containing the flood in those fucking rooms? No, what happened was, um... You know, the part of the problem is that the flood spores fucking... The reason why the Halo rings have so many flood spores on them is because right when the fucking... Before they were about to fire, the Gravemind found out about the Halo arrays and was trying to destroy them before they could fire. Yeah. Um... Which is why there are so many residual flood spores on them, because the Halo Rings didn't actually kill them. So they've just been kind of hanging out here, and then the Covenant fucking showed up and gave them a bunch more food. Okay, yeah, but why wouldn't the Sentinel be this bad? Because they didn't know the fucking flood spores were here how until the, just now. How the fuck did they detect these things? Because here? they were completely dormant until the fucking Marines and Covenant showed up. Uh, such you know the reason design. why when you get to the fucking uh, quarantine zone in Halo 2 it says fucking um, 100,000 years war? Yeah. Is because the Sentinels have been fighting the Flood on Delta Halo since the fucking rings fired. And they were just about to win. And then the Covenant showed up and gave them a new food supply. Ah, for fuck's sake. They were literally just about to win because they'd run out essentially of biomass. Well, to be fair, the evil also showed up. I know, but the Covenant showed up first. And then we gave them a ship. And then so. the fucking Flood got, like, back to full strength. Yeah. You know, it's kind of weird that we don't see that weird floating platform, the, or the Sentinel Factory or whatever, that's in fucking Delta Halo. We only ever see that there, and we never see anything like that ever again. 
the thing that falls down at the beginning of that section. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. A few more of those might have helped. You know, it's a pretty damn good thing that the fucking grave mine when it got the fucking uh answer flag decided to use it on high charity instead of having that thing jump up the earth. That would have been bad. Also, in the fucking Universe of Uncut thing, there's a part where because the Grapevine jumps the enamel clad inside High Charity, so I was like, yeah, nice aim. Well, remember, the fucking Gravemind can't connect all of its- it can't control all of the Flood in the galaxy, only the Flood near it. Yeah. Um, so like... Wait, so did the Gravemind relocate to High Charity then? Because it talks to you in Halo 3. Yes, it literally- like, the thing we saw in Halo 2 crawled into High Charity. That's what the cutscene of the Halo 2 is. So it's not in, uh... But there so are Flood elsewhere in the galaxy. Like, the Flood that was on Trove were not connected to that Gravemind, despite that Gravemind having been there since the Halo Rings were fired. Yeah. So, uh, wait, so it's not on Delta Halo anymore? No, it's dead. That Gravemind's dead. There's a different Gravemind that is still around in a different part of the galaxy. Okay. And that is not connected to that one. The well, Flood is weird because when the Flood develops separately from other Flood and there are two Gravemines, they fight each other and then combine into a single Gravemind. Wait, what happened to fucking Penitent Tangent then? Because it was in the Gravemind's possession when the last I don't time know, I guess it also blew up if you took it with him. I like Penitent Tangent. Also, you blowing up High Charity so easily in Halo 3 implies that you could have done that in Halo 2 as well. well. All you do is blow up three fucking things and the whole thing goes up. Yeah, but... And you go to that room in Halo 2. Yes. So what the fuck? Well, I might have been exposed to the damage. Also, hey, fucking, if we blew up High Charity on the Ark, shouldn't there be, like, damage from that? Yeah, there should be. Also, wait, should the Amber Clad still be on High Charity if the whole of High Charity came down and crashed onto the Ark? Yeah, but it was crashed, like, I, the Amber Clad is tiny, you know that, right? No, I know, but Cortana also says that if Tartarus was going to fire the ring, she could detonate the Amber Clad's engine, and that would take it out at the distance High Charity was from Well, it's because it would blow up High Charity, and then High Charity would blow up. But remember, the Halo Rings are significantly smaller than they are. Well, yeah, but They're also much more fragile. Well, yeah, but if we blew up High Charity, shouldn't that have also well, the thing blown is, up the Amber I don't think we blew up High Charity, like, huge detonation. I think we blew it up, like, the whole thing is scorched. Because the explosions, when it was coming out were not the same. Oh, right, this is the one that's broken. Is it? I think so. I didn't see it come down. We weren't paying attention, but, like, yeah. when we push that button, the fucking thing just, like, collapses in, like, flames. Well, alright, let's keep going. But anyway, it's like, fucking, I don't know. But, but also, if we didn't, well, yeah, because we didn't fully destroy the fucking High Charity, because the Flood's still around in Halo 3 after that point, so what, d is it still on the Ark? Um, oh, wait, neither of us played Awakening Nightmare. Well, I know what happens in it. Yeah. Yes, the- okay, like I said previously, when we destroyed High Charity, it did not get, like, completely destroyed. We kind of just, like, scorched it. Mm. There's a flamethrower here, you should take it. I think we could have done better. We could have done a better job at dealing with that. Fucking, anyway. We should probably play Awakening the Nightmare at some point. You need to buy it first. Yeah, uh, I could do that. I have the gift card money. Come out where I can see yeah, you. look at me just rolling it. Rolling in like $20. Yeah, waking in the Nightmare is $14. Well, it was on sale a little while ago. Yeah. Alright, fuck out of here. Oh, these fucking combat forms still have armor on them? Yeah. Man, you couldn't have fucking waited? You'll be fine. You can call the elevator back up here. Christ. Yeah, see? There's a lot of blood on the wall, you just missed. Oh. Nah, I guess it wasn't going I forgot if it does that. Ah, oh, we're not supposed to see carrier forms until the next level. I don't like the rate at which, which this is progressing. It's bad. Well, yeah, it got a bunch more biomass. That. Yeah. Get off me, you fucks. That's an elite major as a fucking uh, combat form. You know, those things are actually called nightmare forms, the elite ones. Yeah. You know, I have a fucking Mega Bloks Flood Dispersal Pod. Great. They made those. I know. I'm aware. 
I only have the one though, so I can't really use it with anything. This would be a good level to have the fucking um, goddamn like human unique shotgun. Yeah. Maybe we'll see that later. I bet it's gonna show up in the mod bomber. Killer bomber. Wait, are there fucking? Oh. Oh, there they are. Almost out of shotgun ammo. This ain't going well. Good to see you, Master Chief. What the fuck? Remember, someone made a fucking image where it's a fucking flood infection with yeah. Keys' face on it. He says things aren't going well. I noticed. Don't fucking get up this damn fucking thing. For fuck's sake. I need more shotgun ammo. Oh, got a magnum. There's fucking Jackal in here still. Man. Oh, that's not good. I don't like seeing this. Thing one. Uh, not that bad. No, just that room. This place is very bad. Where the hell did go? I'm down. Ah, shit, that's bad. Wait, we're in the other room. <clears throat> Yay, a checkpoint. Man, this place sucks. You're gonna have to fuck out of here. Hold on, I need to get my shotgun back. Yeah. God, this place sucks. Yep. Man, can we stop at the McDonald's after we're done here? I'm good. Ma'am? You don't want a Moa burger? I do not want a Moa burger. I think a Moa burger. Like it. More flame. Wait, that's not flame burger. I don't have the flame burger. What happened to it? Ammo and I need to be done. Man. Fucking can't expect me to lug that thing around. Shotgun ammo? No. Wow. If you had a shotgun, you might not have died. Alright, it's in here, right? We keep going this way. Hey, special stuff. Yeah, in this this room. Let's not kill that grunt. I feel like bad things might happen when we do that. Talent of the lost, huh? You taking that one? Yeah, I mean, there's. An, I've got all my ammo for it. I'll take the, uh. Okay, this is the Subanese Shredder. Neat, they're two different fucking needlers. I'll take the fucking, uh, Fury. Okay. I. Wait. Huh. Okay, I have to know. Nope, that's a normal grunt. You can just kill it. You think those guys will survive? More guns over here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Markel's shredder. Markel's shredder. That's a red. Okay. Oh, these are here to test the guns out because we haven't seen these yet. Yeah. Okay. The one I have is the Subanese shredder, and it has the purple. Super combines on one. Well, it actually spent four. Okay, I want to test the fucking uh Subanese thing. Talent of the Lost is one from Halo Five, though. Oh, this spends a lot of fucking. I'm, uh. Over here. Hold on, I can't. Is, this, is that a... What is this? Is this a fucking Eastern Wind? No, that's just a Silver Light one. Right? Oh, that's not good. Alright, oh, there's an extra fucking, uh, Talon of the Lost. Oh. Christ. I'll keep the scale of Slay Rats at the Talon of the Lost. Where'd you head off here? Go through the fucking one with the flashing light. Shit. It doesn't do as much as the flood. Oh my god, they added fucking grunt combat forms. You didn't notice? We've been fighting those. Nah, I didn't see that. Shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I kinda wondered why those weren't in the original. Like, we they're never... in Halo Wars 1. Yeah, they're in Halo Wars, but we never saw those in any of the mainline Halo titles. That's kinda weird. Right? Same thing with Jackals. And I guess you really technically can't make a fucking Hunter combat, or combat form, so... I mean, 
Like, I guess they get a pass on that. Oh, up there. Actually, get on this time. Yeah, yeah. I hit the elevator while you're still in the air. It colliding with you kills you. Man, fucking. Is that you? I lost your signal when you disappeared. Well, we got some shit out of that. Mareeps. Are you oh, friendly? Yeah. Holy shit, they're on our team. Holy, yeah, fucking. I mean, in this case, you're really gonna fucking pick a fight while dealing with this shit? Well, remember, there were marines that- or there were grunts that defected in the fucking book. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Fuck this place. They're not listed Wait. as green, they're listed as nothing. Oh yeah, no, the grunts are fucking totally on our side. They have human weapons. Yeah, that fucking ultra grunt over there is fucking cool. There's more of contacts over here. The jack- no, they're totally fucking yellow. The jackals and grunts here are on our side. This is pretty fucking good. Even the marines aren't fighting them. Well, act if you, there actually is a part in the book, The Flood, in which there are grunts and jackals on the human team. Okay, well, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing here. They're just at alpha base, though, because they're captured POWs that are like, eh, the humans are cool, fuck it. Yeah, but I think in this case, it's like, yeah, we need to stop fighting and deal with this. Like, I think this takes the greatest priority. Yeah, the fucking blood drums totally explode. The fucking yep. The fucking crew. Bad. Can front with a halo magnum. Bad. How can you even pull the trigger? Power. The most powerful drugs in the galaxy. Look, it's backwash. Yep. I swear to fucking god, and it's a tangent laser view if you stay out of it. Oh, yeah. It's real. It's a real thing that happens. I've seen it. Look, the red grunt. He's still here. Yep. He survived. I don't think the rest of them did, though. Nah, none of them? Nah, there's gotta be further back there. There's gotta be a few, right? Ah, well. Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Still like 343 Guilty Cart. Someone has released the flood. All of the fastest racists from around the world. And but then we do the fucking Mario Kart levels. <laughs> Man. Come this way. They've been interjected into all Halo games. Sure. Chief, I've lost your signal. Where what happens to those Marines? Chief. Chief. Maybe they made it out of there. Who knows? Well, I doubt it. Only like five people made it off the ring.